hello everyone and welcome back to your own channel technical sahil in today's video we are going to build an easiest ever smtp mail server at an extremely affordable pricing with an assured inbox delivery to all such mail services providers like gmail outlook hotmail aol etc by installing mail in a box on a server having ubuntu 22.04 installed on it now if you have been following this channel so you may know that we have installed different different mail servers like postal mail cow i read mail etc but today i want to introduce you this mail in a box which is by far the shortest smtp server setup i have came across what makes it stand out among all other open source mail server scripts is its simplicity which means you can install it with just few commands and also it does not even require much in terms of server specs in fact a server having 2 gb of ram and sufficient storage capacity like 20 gb or 40 gb could be more than enough to get it up and run smoothly for this video i will be using the domain from namecheap and this smtp server from open port 25 so we have got everything ready so let's jump into the installation I have already written an article with all the necessary commands and from that we will be copying and paste those commands to get mail in a box installed. You can find this link in the video description below. So once you get over it, you need to follow this article right from here. Like the first step is and the most important step is uh, set it up the name servers. In all other mail server scripts like postal, I read mail, mail cow, mail you. We have to manually configure all the DNS records like A records, TXT records such as DKIM, SPF, DMARC, etc. But in case of mail in a box, we just need to update the name servers and it will automatically reconfigure all such DNS records which are available, which are important to reach the recipient's inbox. So, how do we do that? We simply need to visit the domain registrar panel. In my case, it's name cheap, so the option is available in the advanced DNS. In your case, it may be different like GoDaddy or any other DNS panel. The thing is, the same options will be available in your case as well. Just there is a slight variant there in such options like I find this option here. You may find in GoDaddy like Manage DNS or something like that. But all the options, these are very basics, available in almost all the registrar panels just you need to figure out where it is like in our case if you have also the domain registered in the name chip you simply need to visit this advanced dns and here you need to select the custom name servers and here you need to write ns1 dot box now click here add new name server type here ns1 dot box and here you need to mention the server ip and click done similarly type here ns2 click add name server also type here ns2 dot box and paste the same server IP here and click done. Now if we just need to reconfirm that our name server has been set it up or not we simply need to just reconfirm that sorry email with gpt the domain is yeah the name server 2 is there similarly name server 1 is also there now we just need to copy that name server go to the domain home click here and select custom dns paste the name server 1 and name server 2 which we have just created our customized name servers and click here to save Now it's showing 48 hours but it won't take much time to effect. In fact, in the meantime we are installing the mail in a box. I really hope it's gonna propagate it. So let's move to the next step. 
the next step is changing host name and in case of this provider we does not need that because when we order the server from this provider it will ask us for the host name and ptr and when we provide the host name it will automatically set that host name and that reverse dns into our server as you can see when i ordered this i already got this host name so but still we can check by of course we have to log into the server why ssh as a root for the further commands to run so we can also check that the host name is set or not what we need to do is first copy the ip paste it here now we need to provide the username and password so let's confirm the host name yes it is so in our case we can follow the guide from here but in your case if it is needed to change and reset the host name you can follow this command to just make sure to replace this with your host name and you can uh, set it up but in our case we can simply run this command next thing is we simply need to run this command and i guess this is the second and last command yes it is the last command we need to run that's why i call that a very easy setup mail in a box so just we need to press enter now it will throw us some prompts which we need to answer for the configuration and which we will do it is super easy to do that after that in some minutes it will install the script on our server mail in a box so let's see what are the configurations we need to do via prompts first we need to press enter for ok next is uh, it's asking us for the admin email means this is the same email address which we need to use to log into the mail in a box admin panel me at the rate domain is also good but let's make it a relevant like admin at the rate the domain so it would be much better to understand that that's the admin user now press enter for ok now it's just showing us the host name to reconfirm but we have already checked multiple times the host name so it is correct so we does not have to modify anything here we just need to press enter for ok now we need to provide the password for the same admin email which we are going to use to log into the mail in a box admin panel and we need to provide the password again for the confirmation i am providing the same password you can differentiate if you want so it's adding the user now and it has been added now what we need to do is simply we need to copy this URL and open it in a new tab of a browser. Now the email is same email which we have just created admin at the rate our domain. and the password i have provided the same password as my server's root password so 
I am providing the password here and click sign in. Now I have logged into the mail in a box admin dashboard. From there, system checks. We can check the things like what's propagated and what's not. System, it's asking for reboot. The main thing is name server has been updated. So these kind of things which were important. Now what we need to do is we need to simply click here TLS SSL certificates and click provision. SSL has been applied. Now let's see how we can create the users. Users means the email users. One admin, admin user we already have. We can also use this uh, these credentials admin at the rate mail with gpt.com but let's create a user just an email user for this specific reason and let's provide the same password normal user and click add user it says mail user added Now let's find the SMTP credentials in the instructions. You can either use this URL, this will redirect you to the round cube, but let's find out the SMTP because at the end we need to connect to the software and we need to send bulk emails. That's why we have configured this whole thing. So this is the host name. This is our host name and this is the SMTP port uh, for the security, but we'll use 587. So let's use the things one by one. First, let's copy the username. And now let me open the SMTP ER. Let's provide the hostname here. Port, we will use 587. And use the secure connection and authentication email we have created my name at the rate the domain I'm going I am going to use the same email as from email from as for email from and we have given the this password to the this user so let's paste that now in the email too let's check the mail tester score by just sending the email to this email and click send it says untrusted root let's once try the gmas Let's again copy this email and let's try with the GMAS SMTP tester. Yeah, it's sending. Actually, the last time as we have checked, the problem was with this tool. Actually, when we were uh, doing the video on MailU, so there was also problem with this tool and GMAS was also not working. So that was the reason 
I have already told in that video that if you have watched that video, you, you may know that we have configured everything step by step. Only the tool was not working similar with the GMAS. So we did not able to test that thing. But fortunately today GMAS is working. So let's check the email score. And it is 10 on 10 from the box.mailwithgpt.com. So that was the thing uh, which was not a fault of uh, actually the SMTP we have just created. There is a problem I have checked many times in the recent days the problem with this tool and sometimes even GMAS is also not working like you can see it's currently also sending the email but here we received the email and it's perfectly 10 on 10. So whenever you face such type of problems like in the SMTP or on GMAS don't confuse about your configuration you did all the right things just test with another smtp tester because these tools nowadays creating a bit problem for the smtp connections test testing so that was the only reason we have unable to confirm the mail you configuration and but thank god today we got to confirm about mail in a box connection uh, using this tool see it's currently still sending but here it has sent and you can see we have done all the checks that was the email and this is the email content spam assassin likes you properly authenticated this is our server ip which is this one we have not configured any dmarc or dkim we have just configured the name server and name servers did the rest of the job so this is the pros of using this mail in a box the setup is super easy we just have to run two or three commands and it's done. So we have successfully installed mail in a box on Ubuntu 22.04 and the results are great. We have achieved a perfect 10 on 10 score on mail tester, which means we could have easily hit any inbox. So that's all for today's video and thank you so much for watching it till the end.